Hello, I'm Mary Kreeple with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Today's Closing Bell is brought to you by Cattle Facts, the deciding factor. As we move through January, typically we see the largest volume of feeder cattle trade in the second week and continued large volumes through February. This year has been right on track, trading a few less than last year through the first three weeks, but has been above the five and 10 year averages. Presiding drought and lack of hay supply, particularly in the Southern Plains, has so far kept trade large. Large volumes do cause seasonal vulnerability to prices, especially as corn prices are typically firm ahead of planning and feeders bought now are being placed against summer live cattle contracts. This year, as we are, this year we are also seeing some demand weakness. Poor pin conditions due to weather have made placements more challenging, especially in the north. With continued precipitation, that could remain an issue for a few more months. This could hold feeder markets mostly sideways for the next 60 days or so. At the same time, precipitation may allow for more options to hold back cattle as it warms up in some areas and grass grows. Longer term, expected improvement in weather should help feeder cattle and calves throughout the year. A smaller outside supply will also be supportive. We are expecting Tuesday's annual cattle inventory report to show outside supply down about 300,000 head from year ago, which would be the smallest supply since 2015. This, along with corn prices, expected to move lower in the new crop year. And placing against the stronger fall and winter fed cattle markets means calves and feeder cattle are not expected to be held down for long. Turning towards this week's markets, the feeder cattle index gained about a dollar from Thursday to Thursday to go to 178.80. Fed cattle have not seen too much cash trade to this point, but look to be about steady to a little lower in the north and mostly 248 dressed and steady to possibly one higher in the south. While the beef market has drifted lower, it has held together better than expected so far. Seasonally, a few more weeks of weakness are expected, especially with strong slaughter and slower demand. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.